Thank you NordVPN for sponsoring this video. So the iPhone 14 has been out for a few weeks now and it's been a minute since we did a best accessories video. So let's do one. Let's ramble. Hold up. Days go by when I pull up. They all on me like a once. Right, I want to start with the main accessory for me and that's because it is the accessory that powers most of my other accessories and that is the DigiNest Pro 100 watts by Ugreen. I absolutely despise cable clutter and we all know what it's like. We have a million different devices and those come with a million different plugs and cables. And before you know it, you get one of those terrible cable bird's nests. It's a nightmare. So I'm always on the lookout for good charging solutions, which is why you will see a couple of them throughout this video, all with a specific purpose. But this is just one of those devices that does it all. And that's not easy to find because not all of these so-called all-in-one chargers actually deliver enough juice to actually power all of your devices. This one does because it delivers up to 100 watts, which means it can power anything from an iPhone to a MacBook Pro. And you can already see that this is a beefy chunker by taking a good look at the cable, which is not only thick with three C's, it's also six feet long, which makes it ideal to use at a sit stand desk as your main tabletop power source. It's fairly heavy, which is a good thing because it's essentially a desktop charger and you don't want this slipping and sliding all over your desk. You want that to stay in place firmly. And that's exactly what this unit will do. It does look and feel premium, even though it is plastic mostly, it's a nice plastic. On the one side, it has two high powered USB-C ports, that will go all the way up to 100 watts. So they're perfect to power your MacBook. One lower USB-C port as well as a USB-A port outputting 22 and a half watt, which is perfect for phones and tablets and stuff like that. On the other side, we have two three pronged sockets for all the heavy lifting. And on top, we have an easy access two pronged socket for whatever needs a quick charge. The DigiNest Pro has smart tech inside, which knows exactly when to share the power to which devices so that all the devices get exactly what they need. And my favorite part of this whole thing is the power switch, which turns the entire unit on or off, which means you can switch off an entire desk worth of devices with the push of a single button. Super handy. And of course, there's links in the description to everything you see in the video. Some of the products will have discount codes. This is one of them. So if you decide to pick up one of these bad boys for yourself, be sure to use the code 15UGREEN100W for a 24% discount. Right, moving on to the next accessory, and that is another super convenient charging solution by a company called ESR. But this time it's a very specific one, and it's called the Halo Lock 3-in-1 Charger with Cryo Boost. And I will explain in a minute what that means. Now, if there is one thing I hate, it is clutter. The thing is, with the devices that we're using, it can be challenging to keep a tidy desk or a tidy nightstand. And that is why I'm such a fan of these all-in-one charging solutions because they allow me to charge all of my stuff and I only have to run a single cable to do that. Now, to be honest, these all-in-one charging solutions are a hit or a miss in my experience. And this one is definitely a hit. And let me tell you why. First of all, I love that the magnetic phone charger on this thing has such a large surface. I've used ones with a small surface and it's super annoying, especially when you keep this thing on your nightstand, you just wanna to go to sleep and charge your phone. You really don't wanna be fidgeting to get your phone to stick and you know, it falls down. It's just a mess. That's not gonna happen with this one. There's just no way to misplace it. Now let's talk about that cryo boost business. What that basically is, is a cooling system driven by a fan that keeps your phone from getting too hot because what happens when your phone gets hot, your battery will charge slower. Charging speeds will be throttled to prevent the phone from overheating even further. So if you like to use these charging docks to watch videos on your phone while charging, you will find that happens a lot. But not with this one because the cryo boost keeps your phone cool so it will charge fast even when you're using it to watch videos at the same time. Oh, and if you're worried about the blue light ring keeping you up at night, don't worry, dark charging mode will turn off all indicator lights so you can sleep in peace. Now, of course, this thing also charges your AirPods with or without a case. I have this very nice Aramid Fiber Protective Case by Pitaka around my AirPods Pro Gen 2s, and we'll get back to those later in the video. But for now, I just wanna highlight how strong the magnets are on this charger. And again, that is hugely helpful if you plan to keep this on your nightstand because you won't need to search for that sweet spot to charge your pods. It snaps right into place exactly where it needs to be. 
Now that's all great, but my favorite feature by far is this charging stand for my Apple Watch. Why? Because it allows you to use your own charger instead of having one built in. Normally, I would have considered that as a bit of a disadvantage, but not in this case, because I find that those built-in third-party Apple Watch chargers are usually pretty weak. And that is especially true for those of you owning the Apple Watch Ultra like I do, because the charger that comes with that gives it a fast charge that no other Apple Watch charger will give it. And that includes Apple's own chargers that belong to other Apple Watches, probably because the Ultra has a bigger battery. And that is why I very much appreciate the design of this thing, because not only does it allow me to install my own original Apple Watch Ultra Charger, it also allows me to neatly route my cable inside the base of the Halo Lock Charger. The bottom pops off easily, and the routing system is exactly fit for housing an Apple Watch charging cable, so that we are still dealing with just one cable to charge all of your devices. A cool little nugget is that these AirPods Pro 2s can also be charged by an Apple Watch charger. So if you prefer, you can actually charge them this way. So guys, a very useful device that doesn't break the bank to begin with, but if you use the link in the description, you will get an extra 20% off. ESR also sent me their little battery pack that I've been enjoying. So I wanna give that a quick shout as well. This is a 5,000 milliamp hour battery pack that snaps onto the back of your iPhone and outputs five watts and 7.5 watts respectively, depending on whether it's attached to a charging cable. It's got indicator lights that show you exactly how much juice is left and a USB-C connection that serves both to charge the battery as well as being able to charge other products that have a USB-C port. And that, in my opinion, is what is lacking on Apple's own battery pack, which not only charges using a lightning cable, but it can charge anything other than your iPhone. And this one has a kickstand, which I find very useful, especially if you wanna sit down somewhere and watch a quick video or make a call, super convenient. Now, before we continue, a quick word from our sponsor, NordVPN. Now guys, a little side note here, whatever device you're using, installing the best VPN as a first order of business should be an absolute no brainer. If you've seen any of my best apps videos, chances are you've heard me talk about NordVPN as just one of those absolute essentials. We're using ultra portable devices. We use them literally everywhere and that often means using public Wi-Fi. So a VPN is a must have to protect your devices and your privacy. And when it comes to that kind of protection, I want the best there is and that is NordVPN. But of course, a good VPN does much more than that. We all know how annoying it can be when you're traveling and all of a sudden you can't watch your favorite movies or TV shows because you're in another country. Not a problem, you just open the map, click on your home country and bam, you have access to all your favorite content again. But it works the other way around too. A streaming service isn't available in your country, simply change your virtual location and now you have access to it. Or maybe you wanna download a game that's not available where you are change your location and buy it. So NordVPN protects you and at the same time, it lifts all kinds of geographic restrictions. Pretty awesome. Go to nordvpn.com Patrick Rambles to get a huge discount off the two year plan with four additional months for free. And you don't need to worry about taking any risks because NordVPN offers a 30 day money back guarantee. Right, back to the video. Okay, so these next accessories are from a brand that I've been using for many years now, and that is Rhino Shield. I mostly use their phone cases because Rhino Shield is known for creating the most protective and some custom cases, and they just launched their brand new phone Grip, which is what I wanna show you today. We have the Grip Mini, the Grip Max, and the Grip Max MagSafe. Now, these grips serve a dual purpose. Not only do they provide extra grip, which makes it super easy to hold and operate your phone one-handed, the grip can also be used as a stand. And because you can stick it anywhere you want on the back, you can use it however you like, in the way that feels most comfortable to you. You can use it in portrait mode or in landscape mode, it doesn't matter. It uses a heavy duty adhesive, but it's not like it's trash once you take it off because you can reuse the adhesive and reposition your grip as many times as you want. If the adhesive does get a bit weaker, that's usually because of dust and lint, and all you have to do then to restore the stickiness is to simply give it a wash and let it dry. Except, of course, if you opt for the MagSafe version, which, you guessed it, snaps onto your iPhone magnetically. For instance, I have this nice crystal clear MagSafe case from Rhino Shield, and as you can see, it snaps on super easily, and once it's on there, it is on there. These grips are customizable based on your style. You can do a photo upload, foil stamping, custom text, 
jersey design. And as you can see, they also have a licensed collection featuring everything from Snoopy to Dragon Ball Z and the NBA. One thing I appreciate about Rhino Shield is the fact that they're very environmentally conscious, not only in their packaging, as you can see from the packaging of the grip, as well as their phone cases, but also in the materials they choose for the actual products. These grips are made from 85% recycled PET bottles, and I think that's awesome. If you wanna pick up one or more of these grips for yourself, and of course, there's lots more designs than just these. Be sure to use the code PATRICK20 at checkout for 20% off in the first week after publication of this video, and then 10% off after that. As always, links in the description. Oh, and for those of you interested in having a closer look at Rhino Shield's cases, I'll be showing you those in great detail in a future video as well, so keep an eye out for that. This next accessory, is inside this little case. And of course, it's not about the case because as our moms used to say, it's what's on the inside that counts. And on the inside is a full wireless microphone system. We have one wireless receiver and two wireless transmitters, AKA microphones. And look how absolutely tiny these are. And they weigh only 12 grams, which is nuts. It's like nothing. Now I have the duo kit because you can also order it as a solo kit, which will of course be a little bit cheaper as well. And these are pretty reasonably priced to begin with. They're a lot cheaper than similar systems like the Rode Wireless Go 2s that you've probably seen before. Now, the reason why this is on my list of favorite accessories for the iPhone 14 Pro in my case is the fact that the cameras on these iPhones are pretty phenomenal these days, but the audio leaves a lot to be desired. It sounds okay when you're nice and close to the phone, but as soon as you're more than a foot away, the audio just isn't that great. And I know a lot of you guys are using the iPhone as your main camera. I've seen people even start YouTube channels using just their iPhones. So this Hollyland Lark M1 offers a great solution if you're looking to bring your audio up to par with the video capabilities of your iPhone. A nice little bonus is that you can also use these with mirrorless cameras and even with your computer, which can come in very handy if you have to give presentations for work or you're teaching a class or whatever that requires you to move around a bit. Simply connect the receiver to your iPhone using this little cable here and then clip one of these mics to your clothing and done. That is literally all there is to it. And if there's two of you, maybe you're interviewing a person, just pin this one on them and the audio of both mics will be sent straight to the receiver and into your phone. Now, the way the charging case works will be very familiar to you because it works pretty much the same as a pair of AirPods. You just stick them in the charging case, close the lid, and they'll be charging. The built-in batteries on both the mics and the receiver last for eight hours, which is pretty impressive considering the size, and it takes only an hour and a half to recharge them to completely full, and the charging case has enough juice to fully charge all three units two times over. Now this yellow button on the side turns on active noise cancellation, which cuts out most of the noise around you and isolates only your voice, which is super convenient, especially when you're filming outside. Now, of course, the proof is in the pudding, so let me just read the same sentence twice using my iPhone to film, once with the Lark M1 and once without the Lark M1. <clears throat> if you like these accessories videos, there's plenty of them already on the channel and many more to come, so be a lamb and hit that subscribe button. If you like these accessories videos, there's plenty of them already on the channel and many more to come, so be a lamb and hit that subscribe button. So guys, I think the difference is quite clear, but let me know in the comments below, how did you like the sound of the Lark M1 as opposed to the iPhone's internal mics? This next accessory might be a no brainer, but I can't in good conscience do an iPhone accessories video without at least mentioning the new and improved AirPods Pro Gen 2s. I've been using these for a few weeks now, and I'm really impressed. Better ANC, better audio quality, better microphones, better battery life, speakers in the case so they're easy to find. Everything's just a little bit better and you just have to love how seamless AirPods work with your iPhone. I won't go into too much detail about these right now, but I would encourage you to go and watch my full review on these amazing buds, which I will link at the end of this video. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give it one of these. It really does make a difference. Subscribe for more content. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.